All right, this is uh, Mel Major at Carlisle Events 2022 show, and we're sitting in the Mopar Survivors display tent. Mopar Survivors tent is a group of unrestored cars. The cars are not judged. There's no classes. It's just all nice original cars, and the purpose is to get them out, enjoy them, let the people understand what survivor cars are. None of these cars can compete in a regular show field. Because of the factory imperfections, they can't compete with a restored car. So in order to keep the tradition going of original cars, we need people to keep these cars and keep them, bring them out, display them, have fun. It all started my 70 Cuda that I ordered in 1970. It was its 25th anniversary. So for that, I was invited to Carlisle in their building T. We came here, had a good time, went to a few shows after that, and we were put in groups of restored cars. So we listened for the weekend, heard the comments. At the end of the show, we, we decided the car's just going back home, get put away. There's no reason bringing it out. Nobody understands what it is. So we thought about it a little bit. We came up with a plan and that was to have a display with the original cars. And since Carlisle was very good to us, I said, let's attempt to talk to Carlisle. So I approached Carlisle and said, I'd like to do a tent with 10 or 12 cars, original cars, and what's it gonna cost for a tent and parking space for our trucks and trailers? And I was told at that time, if we did it, there would be no cost involved. So we ended up making the decision, we did it. I got, the, I got enough cars, in fact, I ended up with 17 cars. Carlisle gave us building Y, which 17 cars fills just right. The display went great. At the end of the display, Sunday afternoon, Chip Miller, he came over in the evening like he normally would, and we just sat and talked about cars and simple things. And he said he liked the display, and he asked me if, if I would continue doing it. And I said, well, if I can find cars, I would do it. He's okay. He said, that's done. He said, you start looking for cars. And he said, I've got your space here. So you're ready to go. And from that expanded. The next year, we all grew building Y. The next year, we all grew the tent. Next year, I grew the tent. Now we're normally in a tent that's 40 by 220 feet that can hold 44 cars. And that's the way it's been for, this is the 26th year. The intention is still the same. It's here for display reference cars, people that are restoring cars, and we've set a criteria, and I made a criteria that is possible to get a car in. I didn't put the highest requirements that it would take most cars out. So, and it starts with 85% original exterior paint, interior, drivetrain. We look for nice, well, I say very nice. That's the qualifier. And so after 26 years, we're looking forward to 27 already. Actually, for a display, in the tent, there's a poster I make of every car in the tent with the information. The owner, the car, and the biggest thing is a short story of how that car survived. You know, was it put away, was it tucked away? Was it lost for time or people just didn't drive them for whatever. So there's always a good story behind it. And this year I've got the original picture of the, 19, uh, of the 1997 first show here. And I keep pictures of all the cars, they're all on file, and I use them at, at all the events. For 25 years we've been at Carlisle and it's no charge for anything. We have this huge tent, middle of the show field, Anything we need, maintenance will help us if we need something done. We have truck and trailer parking. There's no charge for that. No charge for entry and passes for your family. And I thought about it and I wanted to do something to show appreciation for, the, for Carlisle for what they've done for 25 years. So I discussed it with some personnel of Carlisle and they said they don't need the money. I said, okay, that made it easy. I said, well, since we're here because of Chip Miller, I proposed a donation to Chip Miller. The money goes to basically like three hospitals. He died of a very rare blood disease, amyloidosis, and the money goes to them. So I've asked for a donation from each car in the tent 
a $50 donation. They sign up. The money doesn't go to Carlisle events. It goes to the donation fund for Chip Miller. Thanks to all the cars that are here. I don't, I don't expect anything. This is my hobby, and I'll continue it. And I plan to be part of Carlisle Group for some time to come. Well, this is Mel Major at Carlisle Events 2022 show, and we're gonna walk through the Survivor cars and just say a couple questions or a couple points about them. First one's a 69 Hemi Roadrunner, a green car, automatic transmission. We're gonna move on to a seven a 70 Dodge Challenger T8. That's a 346 pack car. And next to that will be a 70 Challenger RT convertible, which is a 383 automatic transmission. And then we're going to move to a C body car. 1968 Chrysler, New Yorker, which has a 440 motor in it. Then we're gonna move on to a newer version, front wheel drive. They're allowed now in the category. And that's a 92 Plymouth Duster V6. This is the original owner that presented this year. Now we have an unusual. This may be the only one you're gonna see in the United States. It's a 1982 van. And that happens to be, it's really an American Motors car, AMC. It was built up until 1986 in Mexico. And it was not imported. This came in through a, through a engineer that worked at the plant and somehow he got it into the States. So it's a rare car you won't see around. Now we move into the 69 Dodge W200. Four wheel drive truck, had a snowplow package. It was bought by a service station and used as their personal lot clearing for winter for the snow. Then we come to a 70 Plymouth Duster. This is a 340 automatic. And I believe he is the second owner of this car. It's kept very, very nice. Next on line is a 64 Plymouth Sport Fury. The owners had this car over 30 years and just uses it minimally. Very nice car. Next is a newer car, a 72. 72 Dodge Dart Custom. It's a V8 motor, 318. Next one is a bigger C body. And that's a Plymouth Fury 3. Four door hardtop. Does have a 318 motor in it. And it's, it's a low production for that color paint. Next we get to a, a truck, performance truck, 1979, a Dodge Little Red Express. There are 360 high performance motors, automatic transmission. And then we come to another Hemi car, 66 Dodge Charger Hemi. 
and it's an automatic car. And now we move into a Charger, 69 Dodge Charger, 383 four-speed car. We believe it to be probably the second owner. Next one is a large Imperial. In fact, the owner and his wife are standing right there. It's a 62 Imperial 413 motor. I believe they're the third owners. Now we get into a station wagon. The 68 Plymouth Custom Suburban 318 motor. Now we're to a Chrysler. 77 Cordoba 360 motor original owner car and next to it is a 83 Dodge Murata 318 I believe that's the second owner car Next one is an AMC, the 65 Marlin. We don't have a lot of information. It was, it was a last minute entry, but it's a standard shift car. Now we've got an 83 Chrysler New Yorker. 318 motor. We're going to move to a 1968 Plymouth Fury 318 motor. Now we've got the Dodge Dart again. A 74 Dodge Dart custom, the 318 motor. Next is a Dodge Charger, 1977, and it is an original owner car. Then we move on to another large car, 74 Chrysler Imperial four-door, which has a 440 motor in it. And we get back to a Hemi car again. This is 66 Plymouth Belvedere II, 426 Hemi, automatic. And this is the third owner of the car. Now, Charger, 1970 Charger RT, 440 motor. And this is, the, this is the original owner yet with this car. This is 1956 Plymouth Belvedere with 277 motor in it. And this, I believe, is the second owner two owner car. Now we have the oldest car in, in the tent. It's a 1938 Dodge sedan. And it's the second owner.
Now we move to another Dodge Dart, 1969, custom, and I believe this to be second owner. Now we're into a large Dodge, which is a Royal Monaco, 1975, and that has a 440 motor in it. Next we're going to 1968 Dodge Cornet. It's 318 motor and this is a one family owner car. Next one is a 71 Plymouth Cuda. 446 pack car. And another unique article, a 78 Dodge, and this was called a Petty Kit Car, 360 automatic. And it's, here's to be second owner car. And to round off the entries today is a 1970 Plymouth Superbird. This is a 440 automatic car.